بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so first we we discuss something about lan in the in the networking basics if you remember so lan stands for local area network so it is a set of devices we are connecting within the same geographical location within the same building or within the same uh, office we generally call it as a lan and the size of the lan can be uh, can be small it can be like 8 to 10 devices connected in the lan or it can be hundreds of devices connecting in the lan so most likely the devices which are connecting within the same geographical location or in the same building or in the same uh, campus of that particular buildings and generally the data transfer is extremely fast here in the lan because they support high speed data transfer rates and also this uh, specific network is within your company network so there is a scope of higher security because we are not connecting any external devices so we already talked about this lan in our uh, basic classes already so next thing we'll try to see more in details about the lan probably in this section here now when you talk about lan mainly there are two types of lans we have something called wide lan or we say wireless lan basically it's also called as ethernet lan because it is ethernet is a standard i'll give an overview of ethernet probably in the next slide so the difference between these two is in the ethernet lan in order to connect between the devices like we are interconnecting the devices through a cable through a physical media so they connect to the switch the centralized device from where you can uh, exchange the centralized device from where you can connect and exchange the information so if you are connecting through any specific wire we call it as a wide lan also called as wide lan or you know ethernet lans ethernet is actually a standard now the other type of lan we have something called wireless lan so wireless lan here we don't use wires or cables so basically you are connecting your phone to a wifi network so basically that comes under wireless lan so we generally use in our day to day networks so we don't use any kind of wires or cables instead uh, they are connected through some kind of wireless signals and those wireless signals we call them as radio frequency signals uh, which is like acting as a transmission media for sending the information between the devices so we have a separate section again dedicated more on wireless lan so probably in this section our focus will be more on the wide wide lan ethernet lan probably we have a separate section dedicated completely in detail about the wireless lan so we'll be touching wireless slightly here but the main focus will be on the ethernet or the wide lans here <clears throat> 